Okay, I just want to do a quick video here on my interpretation of Edward Leedskowlin's first home and property that he built in Florida City. I've tried to get it as accurate as I can on a program called SketchUp. I've gone off of all of the old photographs that I could find from there and also the short video in the In Search of episode called The Castle of Secrets. This is not absolutely precise, but it is as close as I can get it so far. I am open to any more old pictures that people may have that can clear some things up. But I'm just going to do a quick walk through here, and I'll do a more detailed, longer video in a bit. We'll start at the entrance. You would walk down a long path and come up some stairs and Ed had his admission sign where people could drop in 10 cents and it would go into a metal box down below and in the back of the ADM sign he had it padlocked where he could undo it go into the box at the end of the night, end of the day, and get whatever change was in there. Come up the stairs. Hold on a sec here. I'm going to move this tree because it's slowing stuff up. Come up the stairs. And here's the Feast of Love table. Directly in front of you when you came up the stairs is the foundation for Ed Sweet 16. It still remains unfinished to this day. Beside Ed Sweet 16 foundation is the base for his tower. Notice they are all made of small rocks. In the lower part, I'm not sure if it was a tool room, if he had a wood stove in there, or what he had in there. If he did have a wood stove, he could add a chimney that went straight up and out and maybe got the radiant heat off of heating from the bottom. Now in front here is what I believe is to be Sweet Sixteen's rocker. Behind that is that ZZ chair. And then what we have is the Florida table. The Florida table at that time had a large bench seat in front of it, which has now been made into a table at the second location called Rock Gate. Behind the Florida table, from what I can see, Ed's large stair wall is here. At Rock Gate, this can be found at the top end of Ed's bathtub. It's part of the wall sticking out. This chair here, I am unsure of its name. Behind them we have the twin beds. And then working our way around we have the sun couch. The wall by the sun couch was called the repentance corner. This is the repentance corner. Beside the repentance corner we have what Ed called the music room. 
which had four rockers and one chair. I'm not sure if that was a rocker. It's very possible Ed's black mirror was there. Down below is Ed's star table, a couple of seats. And of course, behind the music room here is Ed's Crescent of the East. Then we have the star wall. Notice the star is not facing on the inside at Ed's place. Here is Ed's bathtub here, right beside the music room. Notice he had a different set of stairs to get into the bathtub. And then beside the bathtub we have Ed's obelisk. Notice the obelisk is turned a different way. It appears to me one could sit in the moon and actually look through the hole in the obelisk and line up with whatever star he was lining up with. He's looking south here. Now his bathtub, he would say that the sun would rise in the east and warm up this wall and as the heat went down the wall it would eventually warm up the bathtub enough where he could take a bath in the afternoon or the early evening. And the structure beside the obelisk, I'm not sure if this was a large barbecue or if this was actually Ed's tomb. It's one of the two. I believe the structure still exists there today, part of it anyway. Being that I wasn't sure, and I knew that Ed had his pressure cooker there, and he did have a barbecue there, but the barbecue described there had a peaked roof, so I placed the barbecue here. If anybody knows different, please let me know. Now, looking back on the inside, We have Ed's moon fountain. One crescent. Ed's moon fountain was stocked with fish. There was also plants growing out of it. And he actually did have a fountain coming out of this star to aerate the pond. Which is why it is called the moon fountain. Over here, I am assuming is a table, altar stone. Here is what I believe Ed called the band stand, where you could put your sheet music up and people could play their instruments around it. Looking west, We have what Ed called Gossip Corner. People could come here and sit, and gossip about their day, talk about whatever. Up in here, I believe this table may have been used for the palm fronds that he would give visitors when they came to swat away mosquitoes and bugs. They would come in and he would pass one out to each visitor and then when they were leaving he would gather them and he would put them back onto the table for the next visitors. Up here is unknown. These could be newspaper articles about Ed 
and Ed's place. Or this could have actually been like a map showing each of his creations, what they represented and what they were for. Nobody was ever allowed in Ed's living quarters. But from what is written, we do know that Ed had a bed that was off the floor so he could sweep under it. He would also pull the sheets up off the bed and hook the sheets onto a nail so his bed would air out through the day. I think we can assume that had a rocker in there. Probably a gas stove, shelves with with jars of food and canned goods. And it is quite possible he may have also had his pantry there with the kerosene to catch the bugs trying to get into his pantry. We know he had his crystal radio set there as he did string a wire from the obelisk out here over to the crescent and then over to his tower. That is why one of those alphabet agencies showed up and started asking him questions on just what he was doing. Another thing we know is that Ed wrote his book in every home at this location. It's very possible he had a typewriter here, or perhaps it was all handwritten. Okay, flash over to another window. It's also possible well, we know Ed had books. He may have had a bookshelf. Place to keep his clothes. Don't know. You can assume maybe one of his aerials came out here. Once again, do not know. I believe that is all. I will just do a top view here and a quick review. We have the ADM sign, Feast of Love table, Twin Beds, Florida table, the Stair Wall, possible wheel that sits in front of Ed's well at Rock Gate today. Sun couch. Ed's easy chair. What I believe to be Sweet Sixteen's chair. Bandstand, porridge bowl, gossip corner, music room, bathtub, moon fountain, crescent, table, possible barbecue, possible tomb or barbecue. Repentance Corner, Crescent of the East, Star Wall, Ed's Obelisk, it appears the Repentance Corner you could lay down and look north. Here's the way the obelisk is set up. You could lay down in the crescent and look south. Ed's Tower.
and the foundation for Sweet Sixteen. Thank you for your time. I'll put out a more detailed version of this later. I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough before this computer dies completely. And that's all for now.